Hello and welcome to Sunday Brunch. I'm Tim Lovejoy. I'm Simon Rimmer. Uh, joining us this morning for our final show of the year are the stars of CBBC, uh, Mark and Sam. Presenter Gabby Logan, uh, big boy band blue, a magi magician? No, musician. Andy <laughs> <laughs> Burrows. Got any tricks for us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's a rabbit. Get a rabbit out. Right, how are you all this morning? You all well? Good. Yeah. 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 Okay, now how are we feeling about um, leaving 2013? Was it a good year for you all? Very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great year for you guys, isn't it? Hard working. Hard working. Hard working year. That's good though, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of work. Good. Yeah. Good year for you. It's a year of setting in, set, setting in the stones for yeah. next year. Foundation yeah. oh. Oh. Sowing your seeds. Show is this? We'll be discussing that later. Good year for you too. Great, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's talk first of all the song of the summer. I did, I did ask you, but you were busy doing... Um, you you drowned out. Did you do that? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, now, uh, Getting Lucky was apparently the song of the summer. Um, which was sounded a bit like this. Was this the song of the summer? I don't I know how it was judged. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's a great it? song, so. but yeah. I don't know how this was judged. What about One Direction, Simon? Didn't they have any hits out in the summer? Oh, they're, they're, always, they're the songs of the year, aren't they, obviously? OK. Uh, we learnt the meaning of twerking and selfies this year. This was uh, a picture there of... Um, um, what's the name? I can't remember. Oh, she <laughs> 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 better be getting the morning this year, didn't she? Merry Christmas. Miley Cyrus twerking. They knew One Direction, didn't they? <laughs> and the Royal Prince was born, yes. Uh, we have George Alexander Lewis of Cambridge. There we go, he was born. Oh, isn't he pretty? Yeah, there you Did go. you say handsome for a boy? I, he, he was wearing a dressy type thing, wasn't he? Let's <laughs> pretty. 2013 was a, a pretty good year for some of our guests there as well. You won a BAFTA. Yeah. Good year. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Wow. 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 Um, so, tell us about the BAFTA. Were you excited? Were you emotional? What happened? Um, all, all of the above. Yeah. Sam, Sam was incredi incredibly professional about the whole thing. Yeah. He thanked everybody. Mm. I was in the back room going, Get in there! <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> <laughs> like that. And Sam was the one that held it yeah. all together as, as our career. Did you have a little <laughs> screen? You almost had a little cry, didn't you? I did not. It was too, pretty, too strong for It's that. pretty mad for us because this, this year, Mark and I have been working together for 10 years and we've not been, it was the children's BAFTAs and the last time we'd been nominated for any children's BAFTA was like about eight years or ago. Anything. So we were genuinely just chuffed to be nominated. Yeah. So to have won it for Best Presenters was incredible and it just great for us for like a 10th anniversary type thing. It was we, amazing. We've been working together for eight years. We've won... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till ten years. Oh, no, you, you, are, you are pointless. I won pointless. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Without me. Oh. Yeah. But we did do it together. And we lost. <laughs> I saw that episode. It's when I had the first round. <laughs> Gabby, what was your highlight this year? Have you got a good highlight? Uh, professionally, um, I, I enjoyed the World Athletic Championships in Moscow. The first series of Splash, which of course is coming back next week. Yeah, so we'll that was a good way to kick the year off. Um, we moved house, which was very exciting. Ooh, yeah. Blue, um, what was your... Uh, I think reunion was quite reunion, a reunion. Yeah. 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 Our album. Our album. Our album going top 15. Didn't know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but doing it ourselves. Just doing it ourselves was just really hard work, and it made you realise like what you have to go through as a, as, as a business and as a record company. That you know, doing it yourselves. It was a lot of it was just crazy, wasn't it, boys? You know, yeah, just I'd touring. Say, I'd probably say the sellout tour mm. was probably because like no one knows we're out. So <laughs> people still turned up, let's walk you past. Oh, blue. Oh. <laughs> Andy, what was your highlight? I was trumped by them, I was nominated for a BAFTA, I didn't win. Oh, oh no. It's all about the nominations. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. They're taking part of the count. Thank yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> what was your BAFTA nomination for? For the Snowman soundtrack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be discussing oh, a bit later on. Simon, can you guess mine? Oh, Jose coming back to oh, Chelsea. That was, good. that was good, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anything else happened to you this year? Uh, I, I bought think. a new snowball. That oh, that, that's exciting. exciting yeah. Oh, yeah, I had a baby. Oh, yeah. That's not um, her mum. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Chelsea pensioner. <laughs> 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 He's gonna love you. <laughs> That's a picture of her with a Chelsea pencil. She's called Jamie, and that Chelsea pencil kept on saying, She's a boy then. No, no, she's a girl. So, what's her name? Jamie. A boy then. <laughs> <laughs> and can, your highlight? Can you guess? I think I can guess, yes. I can so, guess. my highlight was uh, cooking with that man. Look at that. Kelly Dalgleish cooked in my wow. kitchen in the restaurant, and then Robbie Fowler and Peter Reed waited on uh, for a charity event, and it was just amazing. I was like a small child. I was just wow. so giddy. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Quickly, how's everyone going to see in the new year? 
Anyone got any big parties? Like, are you doing a gig or anything? Um, New Year? I know I'm actually not. off to Miami in a minute oh. after this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to just, you know, celebrate in Miami. Okay. We have a not New Year's Eve party on, well, what's that? on the 30th. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. what do you mean not New Year's Eve? You do it the day before yeah. because... Because then you can wake up on the first day of the year feeling really good and refreshed and you haven't oh, got to clean up after the party. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. 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 Andy, doing any gigs or anything? No, I, I, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. All oh, right, great. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, I'm going to a friend's house party, which is great because I like a house, house party at New Year's. Are great, yeah, they are yeah. the best for me. Well, other yeah. people's because yeah, 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 yeah. the next day. Yeah, exactly. Have you decided what beer you're going to take, or are you going to take wine? Now that you're kind of a BAFTA award-winning presenter. Well, <laughs> take the BAFTA. I'll definitely yeah. take the BAFTA. Yeah. 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 The whole keg. That would be really yeah. impressive. Yeah. Keg would be good. Just to share one BAFTA. No, we got one each. Wow. Which was the first question. I asked. I'm having a little room. I'm having a little room. These two were like that. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to sound ungrateful, but I was like, do I get one as well? <laughs> <laughs> right, calendar. Yes. Everyone has a calendar for 2014. We've decided our, our calendar is going to be made up of our own, own Sunday brunch uh, uh, pictures from and viewers of photos and things from our favourites. Yeah, so you're going to kick it off January. Okay, so January, this is January, and this is Dawn and Yogi from Run Corn. Uh, this is brilliant. best selfie oh. of the year for us. Oh, I like that. Cute. It's really good. Long arms on the cap. You took yeah. that. February, uh, Hadouken, which, Hadouken, which is great for us this that year. Was, so we we still, we did that here. Yeah. I know. You we guys yours later with Phil yeah. and Howard Taylor, which yeah. is great. So. Uh, and then March and the final bit of this section. Uh, oh, this is Ren from London. This is our favourite rescue picture of the year. That's brilliant, isn't it? Not that looks really like some kind of it. cool Shoreditch-based magazine. That doesn't it? You know? Yeah, that's great. We'll be showcasing <laughs> the other nine Sunday brunch uh, calendar months throughout the rest of the show. Uh, Simon, what are we cooking today? Okay, we have Lee and Simon our first in the kitchen, and we're making a sprout bubble and squeak poached oh, egg, oh, hollandaise wow, sauce. Nice. Look at that! It's oh, beautiful. Mm. Uh, wow. If it works like that for real in rehearsal, <laughs> you've got loads of time to set it up. It looks brilliant. If it goes quite wrong, then the boys are rubbish at cooking. Uh, and then Tim, <laughs> you and I are making a turkey pie. Leftover time, so we've all got kind of bits of turkey, we've all got bits of nice. stuff hanging around. Beautiful. <laughs> Big oh, proper pie for New Year's Eve, yeah. and then some of Mark last in the kitchen, and again more leftovers. Christmas pudding tiramisu. Oh wow, Ooh. that looks amazing. Or you could use Christmas cake if you've got that leftover instead. Uh, plus, mm. Indian chef Sarah Tadwala will be making spiced onion fritters, mm. which wow. are quite nice. delicious. Nice. Ooh, that, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that does look good. Also in the studio this morning, Peter Love it, <laughs> aka Doctor Dance, is back to show us how to get groovy with confidence. At your New Year's <laughs> Eve party. <laughs> Simon and I really do like dancing yeah. on television. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's our favourite thing, isn't it? Not intimidating at all. No. <laughs> okay, we'll be looking forward to uh, 2014 and beyond with our, our favourite futurologist as well, Tom Cheeseman, telling us all about 3D printers and the like. And uh, we're back looking back at um, some of our favourite.